I believe that the time is coming for Solana. I think that Solana during the next bull run could very well at least reach the price of $500. And even though that isn't financial advice, let me explain several reasons why I believe that could very well happen. And reason number one is because I believe that Solana is an absolutely fantastic layer one blockchain. I think Solana is really one of the best layer one blockchains out there. You know, Solana is fast, it's decentralized, it's scalable, and it's energy efficient all at the same time. You know, Solana currently has over 11.5 million active accounts, and it has minted approximately 21.9 million NFTs as well. However, it doesn't end there because if we take a look at Solana, Solana is purpose-built for mass adoption. You know, in fact, Solana has block times of 400 milliseconds, which I think is very shocking. And also on top of that, it's currently able to process over 4,000 transactions per second as well, which I think is something to behold. Solana also has very amazingly been able to process over 180 billion transactions. So I think with all of that being said, I think it's fair to assume that Solana is truly something special. And a lot of people, they like to say, oh, why are you choosing to buy Solana right now? And my answer to the people who say that is, why wouldn't I buy Solana right now? I mean, just think about this, right? Solana is over 92% lower than its all-time high price. I mean, that's crazy. I just find it so astonishing how something this special is this low in price. I mean, when a fundamentally strong crypto project is down over 92% from its all-time high price, how can I not buy it? And reason number two is because I believe that Solana has an incredible staking ratio. You know, Solana has a staking ratio of over 75%. And now some of the Solana haters out there, they may think, oh, wow, you know, only around 75%. Why is that impressive? And the reason why that is impressive is because Solana's staking ratio is so high to the point that it's actually higher than Cardano, Avalanche, Polkadot, Phantom, Near, and Polygon. A lot of people, they oftentimes like to disregard Solana's staking ratio, but I think it's actually very impressive. When you compare it to a number of other blockchains out there, it's actually one of the best. I think Solana is ready to rock the house in such a massive way during the next bull run. And reason number three is because I believe that Solana is focused on all the right industries. For example, if we take a look at Solana, moving forward, they're going to be heavily focused on gaming, DeFi, NFTs, and as well as the payments industry. And I think these four industries right here, you know, gaming, DeFi, NFTs, and payments, I think all of these industries have such incredible potential. And there's a lot of data that actually backs this up. For example, if we take a look at the NFT market, the NFT market is expected to be worth up to $3.5 trillion by 2030. And if we take a look at the DeFi market, you know, the DeFi market is expected to be worth over $398 billion by 2031. And also on top of that, when we take a look at blockchain gaming, you know, the blockchain gaming market is expected to be worth up to $117.5 billion in the next five years. And last but not least, when it comes to the payments industry, you know, in just 2022 alone, the global digital payments transactions were valued at over $8 trillion which I think is very mind blowing. You know, clearly the payments industry is no joke in my opinion. So overall, with that being said, I do believe that Solana is heading in the right direction. You know, they are focused on industries that have so much potential. And I think as a result of Solana being focused on all of these industries, I think as a result of that, it is going to experience such massive growth in the long term. And reason number four is because of Solana's partnerships. You know, as we all know, Solana has a very impressive list of partners. However, what I think really stands out about Solana's partnerships is the fact that they have partnered up with Google. I mean, the fact that Solana was even able to partner up with Google in the first place, I think truly speaks volumes as to just how special they are. A lot of crypto projects out there, you know, they're focused on random nonsense. That's what I like to call it, right? They're focused on partnering up with athletes, celebrities, you know, all this type of nonsense, essentially. But that is not the case when it comes to Solana. Solana is actually focused on partnering up with large scale enterprises. So overall, when I consider just how fundamentally fantastic Solana is, I really don't see why it is out of the realm of possibility for Solana to at least reach the price of $500 during the next bull run. If anything, I actually do believe that it is a very realistic goal for something as amazing as Solana. And now with that being said, I wanna address some recent news about Solana because a lot of the Solana haters out there, they seem to think that because of this news, Solana is never going to be able to reach high prices again. And that news is the fact that 
the SEC claimed that Solana, along with several other cryptos, are securities in a Binance lawsuit. You know, this news recently surfaced, and a lot of the Solana haters, you know, they say, oh wow, Solana has no future. Oh my goodness, Solana is done. But for the Solana haters who say this, I think they are greatly uninformed. And the reason why I say that is because when it comes to the SEC, I think their claims make zero sense. I mean, when they say that Solana is a security, that makes completely no sense in my opinion. For example, right, if I buy Sol, if I purchase Sol, it doesn't mean that I own any part of Solana. You know, that is not the case whatsoever. It's much like the Ripple lawsuit, right? The SEC is saying, oh wow, XRP is a security. But in reality, in my opinion, I don't think so. When someone buys XRP, it does not mean that they own any part of Ripple. You know, the SEC, and more specifically, Gary Gensler, you know, they are just trying to find any excuse to attack the crypto space. I think there is a hidden agenda behind all of this. You know, the SEC is saying Solana is a security. They're saying that ADA is a security. They're saying MANA, SAND, you know, also XRP, obviously. But none of these cryptos are securities. They just do not meet the definition of a security, in my opinion. And also, just keep in mind, right, the SEC, they are just alleging that Solana is a security. It doesn't mean that Solana actually is. I think that moving forward, Solana will have no issues reaching high prices. The SEC can say Solana is a security all they want, but at the end of the day, I just don't think it is. And if you want to check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video, and I think you all would really love it.